Hi, welcome to the 47th video of Old Guys, Gentlemen, Flippers. And today I'm going to cover a, um, a Chinese clone of a Shirogorov knife. Um, it's made by uh, Green Thorn. And before people get excited about this, saying, what are you doing buying these things and reviewing these things, I have paid my Shirogorov knives. Excuse me, I have paid for my Shirogorov knife tax. or dues or whatever you want to call it. But they are expensive. Uh, this guy was close to $2,000. This guy was like $1,200. $650. And um, I should forget what this one was. I think it was in, in between $700 and, and $900. Great knives. I love them all. But this is a knife. It's the, um, I'm calling it the F7. So it's copied after the Shirogorov model F7. And by the way, it comes in a, uh, a, a case that actually stinks to high heaven when it, when it arrives. It, uh, it smells okay right now, so the smell does go away. It comes with a gift, which is one of the cool things, um, of tools for the um, for the duck feet fittings on the um, the screws of this knife. I tried regular screwdrivers on it, and that will not work. So you kind of need those screws. And by the way, I'm not sure if Sure Gorf sells these. But anyhow, uh, this is an F7, uh, but, it, it, but it's not a Sure Gorf F7. And I believe the Sure Gorf version of this is, is a custom made, which means I, could, I couldn't even find any on the internet right now to get you a price. Uh, I think they were made in 2016, maybe 2015 as well. Uh, I'm guessing that they probably sell now uh, if you found one for, I don't know, the high 2000s to, to 5000, somewhere in that range. But it's, it's a really beautiful knife and the reason why I, I got a Chinese copy of one is because I don't think I'll ever have enough uh, money to buy something like this. I think I'd, I'd have to sell all those knives, those real sure grow off knives that I already have in order to get this one. Maybe over the long run, I will be able to do something like that, but it takes a while to save up money so you get to even um, the uh, non-custom short growths. So a few facts about this knife. Well, the specs first. It is, they call it uh, the, the uh, 2017 Hot Thorn Green from um, F7 Hunting Folding Pocket Knife Survival Knife Christmas Gift for Men. Total length of 223 millimeters. So it's a little over eight and a half inches of the total uh, length of it. And on the blade, it's uh, three and three quarters. I guess Shirogorov makes this thing probably cause it closer to like four inches. The blade thickness is four millimeters. Uh, the width is 35 millimeters. It's got um, three rows of ceramic uh, bearings that sit in a uh, copper, kind of like a copper washer that holds the bearings in place. Uh, I've seen that in one of the other knives that I have there. I think the, uh, the T95 might, might be that. Although the bearings were black. I checked to see if they were, uh, if they'd be attracted by a magnet. There's a very small attraction, so uh, somehow in the um, the ceramic material. Oh yeah, let's let's appreciate uh, the wicked edge sharpening I did on it. it. Turned out pretty well. They say it's M390. In fact, it even says. M390 steel on it with a hardness of 
But I've now sharpened a lot of M390 blades and this one just seems somewhat softer. It's not the softest steel that I've worked on, but it does, doesn't seem like it's got a hardness rating of 61.5. That's fairly hard. Uh, weight is 145 grams. In fact, in the advertisement on the M390, they say 100% M390 can be tested. So I don't know. Uh, I showed you the tools already that came with it. The handle is uh, TC4 titanium. Uh, using CNC cutting and molding process um, to reduce weight, so they do get in here, like on the real shear groves, and uh, and remove material. But the uh, so I don't cut myself. Uh, the details are are actually fairly good. Now, I don't have the real shear grove to compare it to but it has a lot of nice features in here. Now the price of this was more than your typical clone knife. Uh, I bought a couple others which have been sort of disasters. Uh, that were, I paid like between $20 and $50 for it. This was like $245. So for, for a Chinese clone kind of knife. By the way, let me talk about clone for a second. I will not buy uh, one of these Chinese knives that have the short off label on there. Uh, I don't believe in uh, counterfeit knives. Except for that, not having the logo, it's almost the same thing. So it's probably um, not a real good point that I'm making. But I, I'd say this thing is was machined pretty well. Um, what are some other good things about it? Oh, the action. When the, when the action came, it was almost as good as this, okay? But the problem is you could, you could shake it open, which I learned the hard way by selling um, the, uh, the Chinese clone of the Neon that I had, and it had a real fast action, but it would open just flicking it a little bit like that. So I had to go in here and clean everything up. This all came oily, which was not that good of a deal clean it all up and then I had to adjust the tension bar here oh, probably three or four times. A little bit of pain in the butt with um, three rows of um, bearings that sit open in, in a washer. By the way, those, those bearings then um, face the knife on one side and a, a steel washer on the other side. And it looked like it was a you know, good thickness washer that, um, that's holding up pretty well. Fit and finish is really good, but maybe not sure go off good. The blade shape is is just perfect for sharpening. Um, these are are like almost flats here, and so it's really easy to grip on there. There's no recurve in this. I had absolutely no problem at all uh, sharpening the um, the heel of the edge of the blade. Um, I already mentioned that it comes with um, uh, the gift set. The grip is, uh, is really solid. Um, the chipping out here, and this is kind of a Shirogoro thing. Uh, I guess they're used to holding stuff way out like this. And I suppose if you're really getting the serious um, cutting, you do that. But just because of the, the mill design on this thing, this thing is not loose at all. So it's a good solid grip. Blade finish is um, nothing particularly special, but I like it better than some of the other Chinese clones where they just um, have a, uh, you know, a fine grind on there. This is like a, this is more like a sandblast or ultra fine stone wash, I guess. But I like the look of it. Things I don't like, as I mentioned, it already came in an oily bag and it needed to be clean. I mentioned that uh, the action was good from the start, but I had to clean it out and adjust the lock bar. Uh, these tools are essential to have, and uh, but all you have is um, is finger press on it, and they're not that long or anything. It's not like in the Shirogoroff pen, where you have a pen tool that's about this this long. So there's only so much force you can put on fingers like that. Now it does have this hole here, and I found out you could stick a nail through there, and then do this, but. 
It's not like a torque wrench or a socket wrench or even a Phillips head. Um, this only has one way of getting in there, and it's just a pain in the butt. You know, it has to be flush and level. See, even here, you'll see some of the frustration. There. So it's in there now, but if I tilt it a little bit of the way, it'll come right out. So what that means is it took a while to get used to figuring out how to put it together. And in that, in the while of doing that, you can see I ended up putting some scratches on the two screws. I even ended up getting a little bit of scratches on the, um, on the pocket clip. Nice pocket, pocket clip as well. So um, it's great that they have the toolkit. Maybe this is one of the reasons why uh, sure, Goroff. I don't don't think they include tools when you buy um, their knives. Uh, they're probably thinking um, if you're going to spend four thousand dollars on a knife, you're going to bring it out, show it to your friends, put it back, and never take it apart. What fun is that? The um, the back screw design, and I don't know if this is typical of just the uh, the Shergorf as well or this Chinese one, but this is a screw that goes through the clip and screws in on this side. So it's like a, um, I don't know, an eighth inch diameter kind of cylinder. It goes all the way through here and then it necks down into uh, screws down here. Uh, it seemed really tough. I ended up putting some lubricant on it so um, I wouldn't seize that up because if, if that goes, the knife is bit dead. You're not going to find another knife, a screw like this. And I can't imagine what it would be like to get a hold of Greenthorn to get um, an additional screw. Not sure how long the edge will last. Like I said, it says it's M390 and it's really sharp right now, but I, um, I just don't know because the sharpening uh, went faster than normal. And I guess the bottom line is it's not a sure or grow off. Um, so it's for what it is, it's kind of amazing. And I, I'm glad I bought it. It's probably going to be part of my everyday carry. And um, what it kind of makes me want to do is I probably won't buy any more Chinese knives. I need to just get serious about uh, saving up and selling and trading some of my other knives so I can afford some of the Shiro Goroff Customs. Or actually, I also, in a recent review, you'll see I kind of fell in love with the Custom Knife Factory knives. So, uh, I guess I didn't particularly show you the action on this thing, but it is definitely whips out hard, you feel it in your hand, and nice, slow, steady close. Um, comparing it to some of the other ones, this is Dr. Death, the, the real Dr. Death. Size-wise, it's um, the blade is uh, wider and not not as long, but the um, excuse me, this blade is longer than Dr. Death. Although the total blade, well, it's also a little bit longer. The uh, it's probably one of my favorite knives is the uh, T9. That's by the way, that's the. Um, you know, all, these are almost identical in terms of um, length. This one has more of a belly in it, um, slightly longer. And then the um, the hottie. So these three knives, in terms of general shape and length, are all all about the same. So for less than uh, tenth the price, or more than more than less than test, test the price, I was able to get something that uh, behaves and looks like a Shirogorov. Don't worry, this will be my last Chinese um, clone uh, review. So I hope you got some value out of that, and um, until next time, goodbye.